To my children, love your mother. By David J. Ingelsma. December 7, 2023. Family. This is an urgent exhortation to you to love the Protestant Reformed denomination of churches PRC and particularly the PR congregation of which you are a member. They are your spiritual mother as the beloved wife of Jesus Christ and such a wife as to be the very body of Jesus Christ, Ephesians 5. To hate the PRC would be to hate your mother and to hate Jesus Christ, the husband of the PRC. This, like all my letters, has an occasion. The occasion is a disturbing and disgusting presence in the PRC at the present time of an evil, unreformed and unbiblical attitude towards the PRC. This attitude, which also opens its mouth on the internet, finds fault with the PRC in a hateful manner. This manner glories in angry, destructive criticism of the PRC before the world. The people who are guilty of this savage criticism of the PRC do not love these churches of Jesus Christ. The criticism is largely occasioned by a former minister who faithlessly abandoned his flock and who left the PRC without any church orderly protest. He now takes advantage of his former position and membership in the PRC to stir up dissatisfaction and division in the PRC. As is always the case with schism, Satan furthers this evil work among us. There are members of the PRC who listen to his schismatic message and then publicly promote the schism, no doubt by word of mouth and definitely on the internet. Either they are deceived by the ex-minister's tale of woe at the hands of the supposedly harsh PRC, whose harshness is that they expect ministers to keep their vows and not to abandon their flocks, or they take the opportunity of venting some grievance against the PRC that they are nurturing in their own bosoms these people do not love their mother. Whether their lack of love for their mother is essential in them will become evident in their repenting or not repenting of the evil. In natural, earthly life, refusing to love one's mother is one of the most despicable evils that a human can be guilty of. Love of one's mother is one of the strongest natural impulses. Not to love, but to hate and injure, even destroy, one's mother is unnatural. The Dutch has a saying for this, as it does about virtually everything. Ik heb Mayan Motor Leaf. Mayan Motor is een hoer, Marzij is Mayan Motor, which is translated, I love my mother. My mother is a whore, but she is my mother. So natural and strong is the instinct to love one's mother that the child is inclined to overlook even the grossest of evils in her. Lest falling into the hands of some who hate the PRC, this statement is willfully misconstrued as an admission that the PRC are a whore and as justification of remaining in a whorish apostate church. I explain that the Dutch proverb is here quoted in support of the assertion that one naturally loves his physical mother even though she has serious weaknesses and that this natural love ought to teach something about our love for the church. The PR denomination is the wife of God in Christ and the mother of God's children as is unmistakably and undeniably evident by the marks of the true church. These marks are stated in Article 29 of the Belgic Confession. They are the confession and preaching of the pure gospel of the grace of God, the right administration of the sacraments, and the exercise of Christian discipline according to the word of God. Fundamental among them is the preaching of the gospel of grace, as Calvin asserts in the opening section of Book 4 of his Institutes. I take this opportunity to urge all of you to read this section of the Institutes. It treats of the Church what the Church is, how the true Churches can be recognized, that the main mark of the true Church is the confession of salvation by grace, that the Churches always have weaknesses, which nevertheless do not warrant leaving them, that there are always sullen, arrogant men and weak, though influential, women who leave a true church for personal and sinful reasons, and more. If I had the entire PR denomination as my audience, I would plead with all the members to read Calvin on the church in Book 4. If I had the schismatics and the minister who has left us as my audience, I would admonish likewise. Calvin wrote, For those to whom he, God, is father, the church may also be mother. The reformer also warned, the Lord esteems the communion of his church so highly that he counts as a traitor and apostate from Christianity anyone who arrogantly leaves any Christian society, provided it cherishes the true ministry of word and sacraments. He so esteems the authority of the church that when it is violated, he believes his own diminished. The PRC have proved, and still today prove, themselves to be the mother of Christians in their membership. 
The proof is the confession of the gospel, the gospel of sovereign, particular, efficacious grace, the gospel of the three forms of unity, the gospel in its fullness, including the Christian holy antithetical life. Calvin wrote, where the preaching of the gospel is reverently heard and the sacraments are not neglected, there for the time being no deceitful or ambiguous form of the church is seen, and no one is permitted to spurn its authority, much less to desert it and break its unity. The PRC have proved themselves to be the mother of our Protestant Reformed families by their motherly behavior towards us, by their baptism of us as the means of life-giving by the Spirit of God our Father, they gave us spiritual and eternal life. By their sound catechizing of us, they brought us to healthy, hearty spiritual adulthood. They watched over our spiritual life, protecting us against the attempts of the devil to do us harm and to draw us away from Christ. Sunday after Sunday, by the word they maintained us in spiritual strength. The word they preached and taught healed us in our sicknesses. They brought us to repentance when we fell and strayed. They provided good friends and precious mates. In the power of them, we established good Christian schools, the benefits of which are incalculable. They gave us hope in dying. As we owe our earthly mother so much, so also are we indebted to the PRC. Family, love your mother. Does she have weaknesses and faults? I suppose so. Composed of sinners as she is, sinners among whom we are chief, it would be miraculous if she were perfect. But I have a hard time thinking of any faults or even trying to find fault. Love covers a multitude of sins. It is the same as it is with my earthly mother. I have a hard time to come up with faults that she undoubtedly had. Her virtues so outweighed the flaws. Loving her, I am hesitant to mention her faults, even when I do remember some. I refuse to criticize. My mother may be a whore, but she is my mother. I certainly would not expose her faults on the internet. If I was compelled to declare her faults, I would not do so in a spirit of joy and gladness. At the opportunity demeaning and destroying her with gusto, I would certainly speak with her first. I love my mother. It is both natural and Christian so to do. There is something seriously amiss with those members and former members of the PRC who take great delight in declaring and spreading the alleged faults of the PRC before the world. Their ingratitude and eager slander are unnatural. They hate their mother. Almost unbelievably, they hate their mother, the wife of Christ. Their hateful evil speaking is also dangerous in the extreme. The PRC are a manifestation, as it were an embodiment, of the wife of Jesus Christ and the mother of God's children. Although the critics gain the applause of the enemies of the PRC by their evil speaking and schismatic activity, they incur the hot displeasure of the husband of the churches and of the father of the members as the children of God. If I were one of these critics, I would live in terror, terror of the visitation upon me of the hot anger of Jesus Christ for my disparaging and denigrating of his bride, the mother of his children, who speaks evilly of the mother of my children incurs my wrath and arouses my will for severe punishment. What must be the hot displeasure of God against those who degrade and damn the mother of his children, the PRC? Love your mother, love the PRC, be open and enthusiastic about this love. Do not hide this love when former members of the PRC unnaturally and unspiritually criticize their mother. Restrain the swelling rage, but speak up in defense of your good and faithful mother. In holy anger, declare your love for your mother as you would if your earthly mother were the subject. Warn them too. Warn them of the love of Jesus for your mother, the PRC. Who touches them touches him.